Deep beneath the surface of the Zambezi River in Zimbabwe, Africa, Kristen Yaldor is trapped in the jaws of a hippopotamus. As she struggles to free herself, the animal refuses to let go, ragdolling her back and forth. Hippos wouldn't necessarily just drag their victims underwater like a crocodile. They're not predatory species. They actually just eat grass. So when Kristen got dragged underwater, it's likely that the hippo was actually just returning to where it's comfortable, underwater, where it knew that it had the advantage to make sure that it eliminated any threat that it felt from Kristen's canoe. I was almost out of air, and I started to re-swallow my air knowing that that might help me conserve my air in staying calm and allowing me to try to survive in this moment because I didn't know how long this was going to last. The hippo can hold its breath for two, three, five minutes. Kristen being shook around probably doesn't have much more than 30 seconds of air, and so he's likely going to last longer than she is. I had to try something. I grabbed its mouth to try to pry it open and didn't budge. I'm not strong enough to do that. I instinctively then just curled up to try to conserve my breath and not be thrown around so much underwater, and somehow it let me go. It's possible that when Kristen grabbed onto the hippo's snout, it actually got spooked and let go of her because there's very few animals that a hippo would have bit onto that would have had the same reaction, and it's possible that that actually saved her life. Kristen! So what seemed like forever, I'm uh, standing there screaming and in a panic, and all of a sudden, Kristen does pop to the surface. I immediately saw Ryan running on the shoreline with the terrified look in his face. I immediately started to paddle towards Ryan and the guides, but I couldn't swim. My leg wouldn't work. I screamed for help and somehow instinctively turned over and backstroke. Drifting downriver on her back, stroking with her arms, trying to push herself. So at, at this point, I'm like, could this hippo come back? Uh, is there a crocodile upriver? Was whatever I needed to do to get over there to help the guides get her out of the river so that the, the water just didn't carry her, you know, continually towards the falls. Because, you know, that's, that's where this, this river is going, is, is over to Victoria Falls. If she passes us, there's nobody around. I couldn't hear anything. I was just focused on myself trying to get to shore. And then I heard the guide say, reach for the canoe paddle. <laughs> Ryan and a guide pull Kristen ashore, where they get a clear look at the massive damage the hippo did to her leg. When I looked down, I could see that my leg was torn open. My skin was ripped off of my leg and is laying on the side of my leg. And I could see part of my muscle that was torn off sitting on top of my thigh. Hippos have these incredible weapons in their mouths where they have these two canine tusks the size of a flexed human arm. But they don't actually use them to eat. What they use the teeth for is to defend their territories and to attack other territorial males. Kristen, at this point, is repeating. I need help before I bleed out. I knew I had limited time if I was bleeding out. So my panic and my instructions to the guides were I needed help immediately, otherwise I was going to die here. 